okay, so how long has it been since I did a freaking scientific accelerator manga review for chapter what? It's been like a year now. 19? Yeah, chapter 19 with no name. I don't, I don't think it has a name. No, there's not these chapters without names. Okay, yeah. So, here to review chapter 19 of a certain scientific accelerator. I still think it should be called a certain experimental accelerator, but you know, whatever. Who cares? You know? <laughs> it's been so long. It's like they're, they're all, like, they're releasing all three of them, like, all in a big, like, you know, spoop or whatever it's called. Like, a big everything release, but that they have. Which I'm not really a big fan of, because it gives me more work to do. I have, like, what? Nine freaking chapters to review in this series? Not, like, Accelerator series itself, but with Railgun 2? So, I mean, yeah. My chair, yeah. I was complaining about not having anything to do. Yeah, I got it now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, before I start, I'm gonna put my phone on vibrate, so that I don't sound unprofessional. Okay, let's do this. So, this chapter doesn't necessarily have a lot of, uh, exposition, mainly just kind of fighting, in a sense, but, you know, it's pretty good, you know, we get to see Accelerator freaking fight when we haven't seen him fight in practically a freaking year, in his own freaking manga series, it was mainly just Adoni fighting the cleaners for the majority of it, but, you know, whatever, <laughs> but... Yeah, I don't- I sound mad, but I guess I'm just more mad at the fact it took him this freaking long to freaking release Accelerator! Okay, let's, okay, stop, I'm gonna stop right here now. Okay, so... Basically, the so, this Accelerator creates this big wall of wind, which at first, it took me a couple of reads, because at first I thought it was a robot that did it, but no, I guess it was Accelerator. And which, because he kind of references, oh, a wall of wind, I cannot escape, this is how you always can escape, or whatever. He mentions the, uh... Uh, the Kwong guy and all this stuff, which took me again, took me a little bit to actually get what he was talking about, because uh, you know, it's been a long, a long while, a long while. That's all I understand. But uh, yeah, so basically, the Kwong guy is basically the machine that sucks like dead espers' abilities inside of them and all that stuff. Uses their abilities for their mechanical stuff and whatnot. So yeah, Donnie's kind of surprised that, like, she kind of saw this big wall of wind and Accelerator saying, you know, you won't get away this time. We actually see the girl that's kind of been hiding in the shadows. I, I believe this is the first time we've uh, seen her, an actual, you know, person instead of in the shadows. Well, she's naked, too, because, yeah, yeah, because why not? And he take it. I, I never really mentioned this a lot, but it's like, that sucker, he's always, like, has in his mouth is covered in freaking slobber. It's disgusting. She pulls it out, and she starts, like, licking it or whatever, and it's like, it's just, he pulls it out and he starts eating it again, he's like, hey, that's mine, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of disgusting to see that thing covered in slock, slobber, slobber, this is really kind of nasty, and it's just, you know, whatever, we don't really know what our purpose is in this chapter, Rock personally, I think if she controls the robots in some way, like a power source, but, you know, that's just me. And, you know, he starts saying, uh, you don't have any weapons to beat me, and he will destroy it with his bare hands, in which they clash, in which he actually somehow kind of goes, gets through Accelerator's reflection and kind of scrapes his arm a little bit there. Not really major, major damage, but it was just, the way it kind of demonstrated was kind of cool, because it's like, we actually get to see a sprinkle of blood hit Adoni. It's kind of covered her arm, and it's kind of going everywhere. Even though there's a lot of blood going everywhere, he isn't really damaged that much since his arm looks like it got, like, scratched up a little bit there. Which, you know, it, it doesn't really look that bad, honestly. Like, it has, like, cuts, then you don't know how deep the cuts are, so, you know, who knows, really. And I'm done, he's kind of freaking out, and they're forming first aid on him. And, uh, the wall kind of goes away because he managed to, like, hit pushback accelerator and kind of... Kind of, I don't know what would he really use. He might have used a Mata's way of doing it, where you know, pull back your punch and all that. But you know, there's other ways around accelerator's power, so it's not like this, this is the first time it's happened. But uh, he kind of has, sparks an idea, and while he does that, Xar kind of looks as it looks as I'm donate and performs first aid on accelerator's arm. In which uh, he kind of notices, hey, I'm gonna actually put this guy in my coffin, you know, that'll make that'll you know, make it even more powerful and all that stuff, and Accelerator starts trying to 
think of a way of how it could have possibly knocked him back with his reflection on. And it's kind of weird how he says it, because he references Toma when he fought him. But it's, it's almost like he's saying how, like, it's almost like he's complimenting Toma. Because it's, it's using some dumb, pathetic trick to stand at the same level as him. And it's like, it's almost like he's sort of complimenting Toma in a way, like, huh? like at first I thought he was saying it's using the same pathetic trick to stand on the same level as that guy, but no, he actually kind of sounds like he's kind of complimenting Toma in a sort, it's like, he's calling the robot just using the stupid trick compared to the other kid, but, you know, I mean, I know we're in the, the way before, like, they start fighting and all this stuff. But it's like, I don't know, it's kind of weird that they're Toma and Accelerator's relationship, because it's like, he, he kind of, he likes, he, okay, how am I going to say this? He appreciates what Toma did to save the sisters, but it's like, at the same time, he can't accept the fact that the dude beat him, or whatever. And by the way, my dog's here, so you may hear noises. But yeah, it's just kind of weird, other relationship, but we actually get to see the girl, we don't really know her name in this either, Water Powers, but... She isn't speaking, so I'm guessing she's maybe deaf, or maybe she just can't speak. I don't know. And she shows, she kind of pushes this thing in front of him, and he kind of gets back on track, thinking, oh, wait, you know, we need to do this, whatever we're doing. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but, uh, they kind of, um, sorry. I'm off track here. But I think another robot appears, uh, that bag? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, she's in my room, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry about that. My dog's usually kind of quiet, but she's just kind of energetic right now. And uh, yeah, another robot appears, and it kind of has like this weird shielding around it, and it grabs uh, the Misika sister, in which Celery kind of flips out. Worried about, well, I actually see a weird expression on his face, which is nothing you don't really get to see often with accelerators. So, that's kind of where the chapter not to end. There are like two other freaking chapters <laughs> in this, in this, uh, so far. So, that's kind of good. I've read all, both of them already. So, I read this one like consecutively like five times because there was some stuff I didn't, I thought were kind of confusing in it. But, yeah, I enjoyed this chapter. It was short. A battle chapter can't go too wrong with that in this series, but I'm glad they're start starting to come out again uh, after them. After I wonder if I have to wait another freaking year to review another one. But yeah, two others are as I said. Uh, Railgun, I'm probably gonna start after, or at least the other ones. I'm the first one's probably out already, but um, yeah, I'll probably start reviewing the other Railgun chapters after I finish up Accelerator because Railgun chapters are way more like exposition-filled exposition and just story right now. It's getting to this crazy arc right now. It's kind of cool. And uh, right now, this is Bookslayer has mainly been so far up to the newer ones fighting. So it's not that, you know, hard to go through since it's mainly just fighting, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it all the same, even though I'm more mad at the fact it took them this freaking long. But, you know, I mean, uh, as far as I know, I think uh, the editor guy that does most of the stuff is translating it, too, and he has a lot of stuff translate, so I can't be too mad around that, since it's just one guy, I believe. So, yeah, um, what well, would you think of this chapter? you think it was worth the wait? Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think if you like this manga so far and I'll catch you guys